Hey guys and welcome to the Simple Kai Guy channel. Today we are checking out this CG Solid SC530 BMW specific scanner. I'm interested in checking this one out as it's very well priced and claims to have full system scanning with bi-directional capabilities and over 30 maintenance functions. So you can see in the box right here that it can do all of these maintenance functions, which is a lot, especially for the price that the scanner is at. On the side, it just gives you a bit of a description on what it can do, basically OE level diagnostics. Here in the back, it can also do OBD1 and OBD2 vehicles, uh, up to the latest ones for 2021 models. I guess uh, you can update for 2022. Um, it can also do all of the systems, so powertrain, chassis, and body systems. Uh, of course, it can do bi-directional, as I said earlier, so that's going to be very interesting to see that it actually can do that. And it might even be able to do some coding, so we'll see how that goes. It has a 2.8 TFT color display, well, that's fine, and it will work on a 12-volt uh, powered vehicle, so it will not work on 24-volt diesels and stuff like that. It can do graphs, so I believe it's up to three. Okay, let's open it up and see what we can find. All right, so as you can see, it comes in this uh, little pouch uh, or case, I guess. Inside, we have the mini USB data cable. We have our OBD2 cable that plugs into the device. We have the manual. So this is a brand specific, like I said, this is for BMWs only, unless you're only using it for OBD2 scanning, which we'll do on basically any car. And here we'll explain a little bit how to use the device, what the keys do, but it's very self-explanatory if you've used any of these before. You know, how to get started, how to scan a vehicle, and um, you know, it can do auto van. I'll show you all of that once we are in the car. And here's the device itself. So it has a pretty simple construction, there's no, fancy uh, you know soft touch or anything like that but that means they put a lot more money into the software and into the actual device like i said at this time it's like 120 dollars for this device it can do basically anything on your bmw which is a lot more than a lot of other brands can uh, offer so we have the obd2 port on the bottom here we have our data port micro usb on the side just right there uh, just a little bit of information on the back not sure what this one at the top is. I don't think it's included on this model. Uh, you have a couple of function buttons on the top here uh, with yes, no, and the D-pad. And that's it. So let's go plug this into a car and see how well it works. All right, guys. So I'm sitting in a perfect car to show you this uh, scanner since this car breaks down a lot. I'm in a BMW 335e92. So this is a 2011 vehicle. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and show you the functionality of this scanner using this vehicle. So the first thing we see here is OBD2. This is what you see on a lot of scanners, you know, even the $50, $40 scanners will uh, have uh, this functionality. So I'm not gonna concentrate on that too much. Second is gonna be the BMW. This is where all of the cool functions are gonna be at. So we're gonna dive deep into that one. But first I wanted to show you uh, the settings. So we're going to settings, you can change the language and here are the languages that you can select. I know people ask me about this one uh, from time to time, so here they are. Units, you can of course go between metric and imperial. Actually, I'm gonna switch to imperial. Uh, shortcuts, so these are gonna be the three shortcuts here. At the moment, they're all shortcutted to OBD2. You can change it to basically whatever you want. Display test, so you can test the display. Keyboard test, you can press, make sure the keys are working correctly, and you can see, see a little bit more information about this device here. Okay, so those are the settings, that's it. Next is gonna be data manager, so when you run reports and save uh, things uh, from there, you can find it in here, and you can update the device by connecting it to uh, a computer. So this might be one of the negatives on this device is it does not have Wi-Fi and it cannot automatically update through Wi-Fi. On the other hand, it's really nice because this will always work. You're never going to have, hey, activate this. Hey, you don't have Wi-Fi and you can't, you know, use this function at the moment or you have to register for something. There is no registrations on this. You plug it in and it works and it will work basically forever unless something happens with the hardware inside, which is very unlikely, of course. But anyway, let's get into the BMW functionality and see what it's all about. I'm very excited to see what this will actually do because for at the moment it's $120 with a coupon. I'm just surprised that it can do all of those things that it says that it will do and I really wanna make sure it can. So you have two options here. You can, uh, well, if we go back, you have three options. You can go BMW, Mini and Rolls Royce. I'm in the BMW, so I'm gonna select that. 
Uh, and then you can do manual selection. So if you do manual selection, you basically get to select the, your car yourself, or you can use smart VIN and it's gonna figure out what the car is by itself. So yes, this is correct. I'm gonna press F3. Yes, that's completed. That's the one, that's the car that I'm in. And we're gonna let it scan. All right, so that took about a minute to scan the vehicle, and now we're presented with a few more options. We have diagnosis, serviced, and special functions. We'll start with the first one and go to diagnosis. You can do a quick scan or you can do control modules. So if you know which modules you're working on specifically, you can go in here and you select which module it's gonna be. So it's just gonna be one of those. Or if you wanna do the entire car, we're gonna do a quick scan, and what it will do is scan every single module on this car. So. It will scan every system, and if your system, let's say uh, engine system, has more than one module, it will scan individual module as well, which is very, very important. As you can see, it identified 23 different modules in this vehicle, and that's what it's going to be scanning, and then we can do a lot more in those individual modules. I know it's a lot of information, and you know if you don't work on cars daily, this might be confusing, but that's very impressive for a scanner in this price range. All right, and as you can see, after it scans every single module, it will tell you, uh, you know, if there's any faults on it. So, for example, I have an engine fault here. So you can just go through all of the modules and see where the faults are, and you know, it will of course tell you. You can then press F3 and get a report. So if we press F1, we're gonna save it, and then we can review it later in the data manager tab that we saw earlier. Now going back, we can check out one of the modules. As an example, we'll go to the engine electronics, since this one actually has a code. So we're going to yes, read the codes. Okay, so it looks like we have a Viltronic uh, system deactivated adjustment fault too frequent. Okay, something to figure out, of course. And we can, uh, you know, save that as well. So we can save this report. All right, and then if you want to clear that code, we can clear it as well. And of course, you can do this for every single module. Now that it's clear, we can go and see some live data. As an example, we can just go in here. As an example, it's going to scan the engine module and show us all of the live data for the engine. Even though it's not running, we'll still be able to see something. All right, so after a minute, here's all of the information that you can see from uh, this specific module. Uh, as an example, we can go to, uh, let's see, high pressure fuel pump. We can look at the rail pressure and the uh, nominal value for it, press OK, and now we see the value. So if I go and try to start the car, look at that, you can see the value of the pressure or the fuel pressure changing live. So that's one very cool thing that you can see, and you can see that on every single module in the vehicle. Now, next I wanna to go to a different module so I can show you uh, active tests. We're gonna to go to instrument cluster. So just the instrument cluster right there. And you have, of course, the same functions. You can see live data as before. And once that loads, we have a few different options for live data for the instrument cluster. Let's just try the control module input. So we're gonna go in there, and here you can see basically all kinds of information. As an example, you can see the, uh, uh, what the sensor sees for the outside temperature. We can even see what the status of BC button is. So let's just do that. If you do two of those, okay, it's showing 88 Fahrenheit right now, which is correct. That will show 87 over there, but you know, very close. And then I'm gonna press the BC button right there. Watch this. You see me pressing it, there's within a second it shows uh, live data from that module, such as me pressing a button. It could be anything else. It could be, you know, the, the angle of your steering wheel or whatever else you can think of, this device can do that. And furthermore, this is even crazier that this device has a feature, this price point, I keep saying it, but it's a big deal, active test. So if we go in to the active test, we can do to general. For example, we can do a self test for the instrument cluster. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna activate it and look at that. You see, it's fully testing the, all of the gauges. And of course, we can stop it at the same time. Oops, F2. So now it's stopped and we can go back and do something else. So we can, for example, we can put the fuel gauge to 80%. So look at that. I'm gonna activate it. Boom, the fuel gauge moved. You see that? So you can do a lot of very cool stuff like this on basically any module. I just picked this one because it's easier to show. You can do it with the engine, you can activate 
or, or you can deactivate injectors, you can turn on fuel pump, you can do all kinds of crazy cool stuff uh, with this, with just with this function, just with the active function. Now I'm gonna go back before I waste too much of your time, we're gonna go to service and see what we can see in here. Um, so we're gonna go to, for example, powertrain, and once in powertrain, you can do a lot of service functions that normally would only OE uh, tools would be able to do. So as an example, you can go to CAS and you can reset the starter lock. Uh, you can reset the internal ELV frequency counter. Uh, you can, of course, reset the CAS itself. Uh, you can go to transmission control and you can adjust, do some adjustments or do an oil change for the transmission. You can do a lot for engine electronics as well. So if we go in, you can, you know, do adjustments for the cooling system, fuel grading, uh, injector determination, startup, you know, after walnut blasting, all of this kind of stuff, even startup of the oil circuit. So if you just rebuild the engine and you need to run the oil through the engine without actually running the engine, build up the pressure, this will do that for you. So super, super cool. And you can do that, of course, for other devices as well, not just the powertrain. Uh, you can do some, you know, for the steering angle sensors so when you replace that or the traction control or the cruise control, tire pressure monitor so you can um, uh, register um, tire sensors if they're exactly the same. This will not program them, but it will register them. And for the body, there's a lot more stuff. You can change stuff in the head unit, radio, or not change it, but you can view data and uh, do maintenance items on those and a bunch of other, you know, things that you see on the display. Of course, I can go deeper in a lot of these items, but uh, this video would be 50 minutes long. And of course, let, lastly, let's look at the special functions. All right, and here are the special functions. So, of course, you can do the oil reset. You can register and code a battery. Huge, huge value just in these two. You can, you know, replacing the battery at a dealer is gonna cost you $400, not including the battery. You can bleed the brakes on your car. You can uh, program keys uh, or immobilizers. So these, of course, have to be already uh, registered to the VIN number, but you can uh, assign different um, uh, key number in the system. So, you know, you can enable um, things like comfort control and things like that. It gets a little bit more complicated, but very cool functionality. You can do injector uh, compensation adjustment. Uh, huge, if you replace an injector, this will do it for you. You can, uh, if you replace the steering angle sensor, you can adjust the steering so your steering is, you know, perfectly level when you're supposed to be going straight. You can uh, do the throttle position sensors. So whenever you replace those or do a cleaning, this is a good function to use. Of course, you can adjust window, door, and roof. So if your window doesn't close all the way up or all the way down, you will adjust that with that. Seats, same thing. And well, that's about it for you know, the specific ones, but as you saw back here in the, the services, you have a lot of the special functions in there as well. So that's a lot of functionality for a small unit like this. I'm very, very impressed that I can do all of this for such a good price. Anyway, guys, so to summarize this device, it can do uh, bi-directional functionality with the active test. It does full system scanning, so it will scan any module on your vehicle, on your BMW. It has a bunch of maintenance functions uh, and of course this will just work. It doesn't need internet or accounts or emails or anything else to work. It just works, which I really, really like. Some of the things that other people may wish to have is maybe a touch screen. I, I personally don't like it. You know, when your hands are dirty, I prefer to use buttons and these seem like very easy to wipe off with a cloth, a cleaning cloth. Um, another negative is that it does need a computer for updates. So in the future, when newer models come out, you may need to plug it into a computer, download some software and get it updated. All right, guys. Well, that's the summary of this device from my side. Of course, it has a lot more functionality that I have shown you, but I can't make these videos too long because then nobody will watch them. If you'd like to see something specific, a specific function or special function or whatever else, that this device can do, let me know down below in the comments and I will try to make a video about it if there is enough interest. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to purchase one of these yourself, I will have an affiliated link in the description down below. Subscribe to the channel, like the video if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one.